Notts County have played exceptional football under Luke Williams, accumulating 107 points throughout the National League season. I am so happy to have a club of this size backing in amongst it in the EFL, but it's fair to say that they can go even further than this in the coming years. Luke Williams has set Notts County mostly up in a 3-4-2-1, and their playing style is very much possessional and positional based. And just to illustrate how much of the ball they like to have this season, they've averaged over 69% possession per 90 minutes in the National League this season, which is almost unheard of. When playing out of the back, County looks to use three centre-halves who are very comfortable in possession, with the two centre-backs in the right and left side of the middle centre-half having a lot of creative responsibility, and we can often see the left centre-back and the right centre-back stepping up into different horizontal lines as the central centre-back, so at times it can almost take up natural full-back positions, and this is where they look to create different angles and fast attacking patterns when the ball is trying to be worked past the opposition forward press. And Kyle Cameron illustrates Luke Williams' playing philosophy perfectly, having racked up six assists this season and being County's most progressive centre-half with his excellent carrying and passing ability on the ball. And we can often see him driving into midfield to facilitate and build up and be an extra body in there but we can even see him step up further and sometimes even onto the last line to help with overall chance creation and final third ability and just ahead of the three center halves county used two deeper midfielders so we can almost see like a pentagon like shape with the two wide center backs offering different angles on either side of the middle center back albeit that they don't say this wide when they build gradual possession they mostly use this wide build-up shape to circulate around the opposition's pressing structure but once the press is broken we can see much more of a familiar narrow three two shape Shape beneath the five attacking players. And the wide tens in this team are brilliant, Sam Austin and Ruben Rodriguez. They control their half spaces really well and have the ability to roam into narrow and wider spaces as they please. They can often look to farm box midfields with the two pivot players, which we've come to know a lot more recently. But Rodriguez especially is the complete package in this team. With 18 goals and 14 assists this season, he can do it on the turn, he can do it with his back to play, he can do it with his head facing goal, in the pass, in the carry. He's been amazing for Notts County this season. And the number nine in Macaulay Langstaff has 41 goals this season. And do you know what's more impressive than having 41 goals in a season? None of them goals being penalties. And Sam Austin and Rodriguez have even assisted 14 out of the 41 goals that Macaulay Langstaff has actually scored. And this just shows how crucial they are to the team's overall chance creating ability. However, with this narrow three with the two wide tens and the number nine, the width has got to come from somewhere. And this is where Luke Williams turns to the wing backs in this system. And they are essential. Due to County playing with these narrow wingers or wide tens, however you want to see it, the wing backs are tasked with holding the width isolating the opposition fullbacks and feeding an overloaded box and we can often see these Conte like principles with one of the wing backs assisting the other one as they look to push on five men into the last line and then collapse on crosses and cutbacks that they put into the area and the reason that most teams are committing five bodies into the last line in pretty much every single league in the world right now is because a team cannot defend on paper with a six at the back otherwise they will lose numerical superiority somewhere else on the pitch therefore if you were to work the ball into the box or the crossing opportunities then you would get the chance to to create a box overload and have a spare man who it could eventually fall to. And they sure do bait the opposition pressing quite a lot. And whilst on the grand scheme of things, it's definitely a net positive, they have been caught out a few times playing this way. And that's probably what's actually the most exciting thing about them. They can still improve, yet they're so brilliant to watch. And there's just something really satisfying about watching a coach who persists with his own philosophy and reaps the rewards for it. So hats off to Notts County and Luke Williams.